Bonsoir, good evening. It's a real pleasure to be here with all of you today and talk to you about one of my favorite topics, which is psychological safety. I would like to share with you learnings from 15 years at Google and why psychological safety matters when we try to innovate, particularly at a time when we're talking about what COVID has caused in terms of disruption in many people's lives, in the organizations that we lead in, that we work in. A lot has changed. And do we still feel safe? So some of us wake up and wonder, what's my purpose? What am I doing? Why have I been doing this? And some of these questions are awakening. And are we brave enough to ask the question? I want to tell you a story. Who of you likes penguins? Show of hands. OK, lots of hands. That's amazing to see. Great. Do you know or have an idea how penguins hunt when they're hungry, when they go to catch fish? Who knows? National Geographic fans or? A few have their hands up. OK, they have lots of strategies that they have developed. But let me tell you something else about penguins, which you might not know. So when penguins get hungry, they need to eat fish. And so typically, they're either on some kind of an iceberg or an island. They waddle to the edge of the iceberg or the island. And now they don't want to jump in, because if they jump in, there could be like a, you know, like a whale or like a leopard seal or something that will eat them. So what happens is more penguins start pro pushing from behind. It's like more penguins pushing, 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 and it gets really tight, really tight. And you've probably seen this. And what happens is it gets tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and whoa, one falls in. And then everyone stops like, OK, don't move, don't move. So no one's moving, and they're watching. What are they looking for? What are they looking for? They're looking to see, will this penguin emerge? Very simple feedback. Because if it doesn't, oops, probably not going to emerge at all. It gets eaten. So if it emerges, it means it's safe. And if it's safe, we can all go in. We can go and catch fish. Safe environment. Now, let's think, what do we humans do in the workplace? Imagine we're penguins. We push each other, right? Similar to penguins, we push each other. It gets tighter, tighter, tighter. Sometimes we push someone in. That it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Maybe it was someone else. I don't know who it was, but it wasn't me. If that penguin, human, doesn't get eaten, it's like, I pushed you in. All you needed was some courage. I gave you a shove, right? We take the credit for it. We do, because we wanted to help. But if the penguin, human, gets eaten, it wasn't me. So what we do in the workplace is when we fail, when something happens not according to our plan, we take a rug, we shove it under the rug, we close it nicely, we step on it, we pretend nothing ever happened. Because what happens if we share that we failed? I probably won't get promoted. I probably won't get a higher bonus. It might damage my career, it might damage my reputation, Lots of fears I have to deal with. And what I'm really looking for, what I'm really looking for is to be safe. I want to be safe. I want someone to catch me when I fall. I want a leader to have my back. I want peers to have my back. I want support. I want to feel psychologically safe. But what does that even mean? Psychological safety means I feel safe to speak up. I feel safe to have a different opinion. I feel safe to think differently, to look differently, to behave differently, and to express that. I feel safe to be me. I feel safe to be connected with who I am as a human being. And I can express that, and I'm not being judged for who I am.
Psychological safety is definitely not a place where I am afraid, a danger zone. That is a place I'm afraid of. It is also not a place where I get stuck and I can never move. Some people think psychological safety is a place where we feel comfortable, we are happy with each other, all is good. That place is comfortable. It's called the comfort zone. And we get nowhere in that comfort zone. We stay comfortable. That's what it is. What psychological safety is, is when you have someone who cares about you and has the courage to tell you what you can do better. They're able to challenge you. That means they feel safe to tell you because you will not judge them for having told you. And they will not judge you for whatever it is they're sharing with you. And that is a very beautiful thing to have. And there is this paradox that Brene Brown has shared, which is vulnerability is the first thing I'm looking for in you. And it's the last thing I'm willing to show you. Because in you, it is courage. And in me, in me, it's a weakness. And with that, how do we feel psychologically safe? So authenticity is a very important part. If we can't be authentic, we can't be ourselves. We will just execute what we are told, what we need to do. If we don't feel safe, we will probably always be on the lookout. We will all be a bit careful and be very strategic about which risks I'm going to take. I'm not going to risk too much because I don't want to risk my promotion, my career, etc. So I'll just do what's asked of me. As a leader, if we want our people to take risks, to innovate, to try something new, we got to give them something. And that's called psychological safety. Because when we feel safe, we can lead with curiosity. Each one of us, each one of you. And when we can lead with curiosity, we're not afraid to ask questions. We're not afraid to think differently. We have courage. And when we have courage, we can share ideas. Sometimes they might be crazy ideas, but they're worth sharing. Those are ideas that spark from somewhere that other people will take and build on. Those are ideas that will create something and co-create something with other people. This is the spark of innovation. It is the place where in a company like Google or other places, you can go to someone and say, I love your idea. What would it look like if it was 10 times bigger, if it had 10 times more impact, if it was 10 times faster, if it was 10 times more efficient or 50 or 100? When you take an idea and you blow it up, you make it huge and big, and you have the courage to think about it and to make it happen. This is where innovation starts to happen. And you won't do it unless you feel psychologically safe. And so when we look at Henry Ford, Henry Ford, who invented, you know, Ford cars, Henry Ford asked people or thought, if I ask people what they wanted, they would have said, faster horses. So Henry Ford is someone who feels safe enough to have a crazy idea and say, uh-uh, let me reinvent the wheel. Let me reinvent how we solve for the way that we move from one place to another. And this is where innovation starts. When you are not bothering about being judged for not adding more horses, but for coming up with a new idea. And so when we feel psychologically safe, we can lead with curiosity. We can show our courage. We can come up with new ideas. We can co-create, build on each other. We can create sparks and start something new. And that is the birthplace of innovation. Thank you very much. <laughs>